Hi, it's Mark and Angel Borge, the MarkAngelTeam.com. Mark's going to, uh, we're here on actually South Ocean Drive, and we're in Hollywood, Florida at the moment. But Mark's going to just talk a little bit about assemblage and what it is. Okay, hi guys, uh, the MarkAngelTeam.com. We're right uh, one uh, block away from actually, the ocean. There's Margaritaville. Oh, Margaritaville. Sorry, side note, Margaritaville. <laughs> Margaritaville. Okay. And, uh, Anyway, so we're driving down Ocean and we've just been to several new construction sites. And so we started talking about how these construction uh, projects come about. And uh, because a lot of people go, oh my God, look, there's a beautiful building being built. How did that get there? How did they talk to people to get the land? So one of the processes that a lot of these uh, investor groups, REITs, real estate investment groups, or uh, uh, contractors uh, what they do is they approach some of the landowners building owners store owners and they uh, start to collect small portions of land and then once they've collected or purchased a couple of pieces of land they then go to those neighbors and say you know we've purchased several pieces of land over the last two or three years we're trying to make a block so that we can put a building on it and we'd like to add yours to our assemblage so they assemble these parcels of land until they have enough land to go to the city and get a variance or a change in uh, use for that piece of, piece of land, especially if it's a small lodging house, a single family home, and perhaps a couple of townhomes and a retail store. So they'll go to the city and then they'll get the city uh, to meet and change the use of that land to high rise, low rise, mid rise, whatever their particular intended usage. But the assemblage of land doesn't happen in a month or two weeks, or they don't go to everybody immediately and say, let us have all of your land and this is the price we're gonna pay. They assemble it over a period of time if there isn't a piece of land that suits their need already for sale. So they assemble land over a period of time. It could be one year, two years, up to five or six years. These are long-term projects for these developers. So it's not something they thought of last year and they're doing this year. They normally have a long-term business plan, a long-term strategy of what they're building, how it's gonna be financed, how much cash they're gonna use, and how they're gonna get the land, and who owns the land, and uh, what they're prepared to pay for the land to meet their end financial goal. So that was uh, something that we had been discussing on the way uh, from a new construction site in Fort Lauderdale, actually the Paramount on uh, Fort Lauderdale Beach. And we were talking about how do these uh, developers get the land? How long does it take them to get the land? And what are they prepared to pay for the land? So that was just a, a little bit that we wanted to talk about and uh, let potential buyers know that these processes do take a long time. They are well thought out and it's all to do with uh, numbers and what the city will agree to allow the developer to do with that particular piece of land, considering the other pieces of land and what their general use is around that potential development site. So hopefully that made a little sense. Thanks, Mark. Now we all know what assemblage is. I know, I can ramble on a little bit, but uh, hopefully that gave you a good idea of how these beautiful pieces of, uh, of uh, construction and how these beautiful developments come about. Perfect, all right. It's markangelteam.com, Mark and Angel, local realtors. We right now are in Hollywood, Florida, uh, Hollywood Beach on South Ocean Drive, heading to our home office to go write a couple more contracts for the day. All right, bye.